Okay, so today we are doing an aseptic technique. We are gonna put a medication into an IV bag, and then we're gonna prime the IV bag with the lime to get it started for intravenous administration. So to start with, we have a clean hood. We've already donned and garbed. We have our hood cleaned out. Now we're gonna bring everything into the hood one piece at a time. So we have to wipe each piece down with alcohol and bring it into the hood. Be aware of first air. So I'm offering the port end to the air screen and filter is obviously going to be at the back of your hood. Our pads and our IV line, we're actually going to open outside the hood first before we bring it in. But let's concentrate on this part initially. So now we have our hands in the hood. We are going to wipe down with alcohol before we start. Make sure you stay in the hood at least three inches from the back, about six inches in deep from the front. We're gonna go ahead and open each component. While we open the components, we're offering them to first air. So again, the needle, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna offer it to the first air. Put this together, remove the trash off to the side. We're gonna prep our vial, opening the top, and wiping the top down with alcohol. One, two, three. We also want to prepare our bag port. Bag port is here. You're gonna wipe the end of that, offer it back to the first air, trash to the side. You're now gonna pull up your two milliliters of your medication using aseptic technique. Again, make sure you watch the buddy position on the top. Make sure first air is actually reaching this needle. We're gonna pull up the entire two milliliters here, making sure there are no air bubbles in the syringe. There are our two milliliters. This is now going to go into the bag. Dispense the two milliliters of medication. Remove the syringe that's going to go right into your sharps container. And you're then going to gently invert the bag to make sure that solution equally dispersed. There's no precipitate and everything looks safe inside the bag. So this step is complete. Next, we are going to prime our IV line. We are going to open our IV line outside the hood. Okay, so we are actually gonna hang the IV bag to make it easier. We are gonna bring in our port set. We are gonna make sure that this part, right now it's open, meaning if any fluid comes into the line, it could drip out the other end. I personally like to have the port up closer to the top by the drip valve. There we go. And we are going to go ahead and clamp that down. So you're going to roll it to the bottom. Now it's not moving and no liquid is going to go through that line. Okay. This part here is going to be inserted where the red compartment is. Pull the cap off, but this can be primed with alcohol. We're going to pull off the cap here, and this is sterile. It's going to go directly into that port. So you are just going to forcefully push this all the way into the port. Okay. When you squeeze it, you will see a little bit of water start filling this little port valve here. This is where you'll be able to watch the drip rate. Now, as you can tell, all of this line is now filled with air. We obviously don't want this going into the patient with air in it. So now we need to remove the air from the line. So we are going to go ahead and open up our port valve. And you can see the liquid 
quickly move through the line. And we can even uncap this part here. And we want to make sure we get all of the air bubbles completely out of that line. And as you can see, it just started to drip at the end. So we're going to close that down. We now have all air bubbles out of the line. In this case, it is okay to go ahead and recap this. And now you can go ahead and take your bag off the hook and make sure you inspect your line to make sure that there are no air bubbles indeed going through that line all the way to the end. As you can see, you also have a port here for the nurse to give the patient extra medications or antibiotics while they're getting their fluids. And that is how you prime your IV bag. Good to go.